people, it's our Swamp here, and welcome to episode 39 of Daggerampa V3. Last time, we saw that Angie's really been going off the rails and is going bad with power, banning people from going at nighttime, blocking off manhole covers. Really? What? And try to even have blood sa human sacrifice in case there's another time limit. <sighs> Swear, Angie needs to be stopped. Anyways, she's going off to start her ritual of resurrect Rontaro. When Angie leaned them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out it to his will. But this is her will, isn't it? However... Even so, we can't defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey. Then it's an all-out war against the student council! Six versus six! We can win this! Yes, Kokichi! Yes! You are my spirit animal! We'll s we will start the co- We will go in with the slums of Garfield! We will go in with the lasagna! We will poison them with the lasagna! They are apparently very open to food, so we'll take them all out with Italian cuisine! And we will utilize the power of Saturday on them! But we have to wait until Saturday! That is when we will strike down! <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side! Let's have her kill them nice and quick! No. No, no. Uh, no, we have to resolve this peacefully. There is no peace with these kind of people, Suichi! Someone's gonna die, and it's either us or them! Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way... What do, about you, Kaido? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? huh you say something? No. Uh-oh, someone was zoning out. We lost Gorta! We have no... I have won this mind slave! Kaido, something doesn't seem right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh yeah, we want to start a war against the student council. We should wait until after the resurrection ritual. Uh, Kokichi, mm. you want to get along with this mo- I mean, we could possibly try to get Rantaro on our side if they could somehow bring him back to life. But too bad they're not bringing Ryoma back. Otherwise, Ryoma, he could really help us out. Kayate, she'd, she'd be kind of like neutral in the whole thing. So, and Kurumi, she'd just go to anyone who asks for help. She'd be like a mercer. She'd be playing both sides. So really, Ryoma would be our only hope of being able to outnumber and take them down. Do you want to go along with this motive? Because it sounds fun! Don't you want to see the resurrection ritual too? Oh, but don't you want to make Rantara the transfer student, huh? I don't want him to come back to life! Why? It's because I love you most, Suichi. I'm always thinking about you. And you'd rather see Kayade brought back to life, huh? See, Kuichi is a, Kokichi is a man of refinement. He, he cares about... Suichi? Huh? Th that's... Yeah. You're so admirable. That's why I want to support you. It's a lie. Oh, wait. That's a lie. <laughs> Kokichi. <laughs> Time to think of it. I once saw this anime that was also about a death game. The mastermind sacrificed a family member as the first victim to get the killing started. Technically, Mukuro was the first... Was the second ki person killed. Huh? Sacrificed a family member. I think killed them. Ah. Yeah, it's a show of force. Maybe that's what happened to Rantaro. What if Rantaro is working for the Mastermind? Bringing him back might be a bad idea. No. No, no, that's idiotic. Rantaro couldn't have been working for the Mastermind. But is it really possible? We only knew Rantaro for a short time. He did seem as though he was kind of used to the killing game. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're starting to understand what I'm getting at, Suichi. Well, no matter what we say, Angie's probably the dead set on who the chance student would be. Right. If he comes back to life, then that's that. Nothing we can do except look forward to it. Miu, what's your comment on this? I'm down with to. Uh, I'm down to resurrect the dead if they're just gonna be sacrificed to another after coming back, anyways. Doesn't matter if they die once, twice, or a hundred times. As long as they die and say me, that death is going to waste. What? What? Why are you staring at me? Y you should wait for your balls to drop before you try to side eye me. Okay, Kaido. Um, Kaido, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, it's nothing. I just feel chills all. If I rub some spin on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spin on what exactly? Yeah. Uh, anyways, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not p possible. Uh, Damn it. No, I can't stop these chills. Huh? huh? My bad. Sorry, you guys. My bad. I I'm going to go back to my room. Kaido, no! Great, now we're down one. The student council now outnumbers us. Kai left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. What is it? What was this about? 
Is he getting sick? We were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. Ha! <laughs> ah, I have something to worry about that guy. Hmm. Is he enjoying his weekends? You seem to be enjoying this. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. No, I couldn't tell that was Suichi's room. I, I was completely oblivious and chose to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is against Kaya is get out of here with everyone. That means I have to do something. Free time! This time I'm talking to Miu! I'm not talking to the cult people! No! I can't talk to Kokichi, I, Maki, where, where's Miu? Ganta, he's gone. Ugh. Actually, no, wait, wait. We said we'd go talk to Kyo, so... You know what? We'll fulfill a promise to Kyo. Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Let's talk to Kyo. The dark arts of the cage dog village were sealed away from being too effective. The cage child was one such art. It seems feudal lords feared the words of the dead. Should I hang out with Kyo? Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> what a foolish saying. There are countless ways to speak with the dead. I was to Kyo talk endlessly about seances. Kyo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyo a present? Come on, Kyo! Let's hopefully see. Let's see what we have. Do I have anything rope related? Okay. I'm just trying to find something. I know I have something. I just want to check. I want to just check. I know I have something that Kia will have li would like. Okay, feeling of ham. Ah! Here it is. He probably will like this. Story of Tinoco. Wonderful. You have brought this to me. You truly have an eye for treasure. Tell me your if you'd like, I can tell you this item's history. Are you interested? Is that alright? Kyo, what's the difference between anthropology, history, and archaeology? Anthropology is a focus on humans, on cultures and their customs. Basically, just seeing how people live their lives and how their cultures differ from one another. History is basically just a general overview of basically just events that have happened. They don't focus particularly on just individuals. It focuses on the big picture. And archaeology is more or less arca is more or less artifacts. <laughs> they are often confused, so your question is reasonable. To that question, they are different. Maybe a possible answer. Let's see. History is records. Archaeology is buildings and relics. Anthropology is folklores and folklores and customs. History studies events and changes in countries or regions across time. Archaeology traces the course of humanity through physical remains. Anthropology is a study that examines the thought behind traditions and customs. Uh, um, ah, I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. Anthropology. If you, is... if you think humanity at its core, anthropology, it should be clear. From people come feelings. Those feelings intersect and become tradition. At least that's my stance on the matter. Hmm. The feelings intersect. Yeah. Customs and folk tales only occur in places where people can share them. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with such things. Is that so? But you encounter anthropology on a daily basis. For example, occult stories on the internet have their roots in folklore. Someone on a journey committing a taboo in a mountain village, for example. You're right. That's true, I ha hear them often. Anthropology is... Various mythologies are frequently referenced in anime, manga, and games. A character's background can be viewed through an anthropological lens. Tools and houses in the background, jobs, speech, clothing, or food. 
with the power of knowledge, such things can help you understand a world work more deeply. Without it, such clues go to waste. Hmm. That's fascinating. That knowledge would be very useful. It seems I've piqued your curiosity. Let's talk more. Well then, what image does the word Kappa call to mind? A monster with a play on head. That's a monster with a play on head. I see. Yes. I thought you would say that. Listen. It is an anthropological impossible for our mental image of a Kappa to match. Huh? Impossible. Yes. <clears throat> Originally, the monsters had no form, for they were based on people's emotions. Heck, I'm only doing but what's based off Ludi Cole. What? based off Lombre Ludicola, which I believe are based off the Kappa. The, Im the image of a Kappa is a culmination of many different people's thoughts. An ancient fear was changed over many years into a creature we can identify. Culture is constantly changing. Anthropology changes those chases those changes. Thus, I must keep the present in mind when I learn about past customs. Show me your thoughts. So, it is unexpectedly deep, yes? You're right. Yeah, profound. Die rope fragment, yippee. I learned all about anthropology and then returned to my room. There's still time until nighttime. Let's go to Miu's. Let's talk to Miu. Oh, Miu's in the dorms, yippee. Mansuichi, you're looking even more pent up than usual. Should I hang out with Miu for a while? You know it might not be safe to ask. <laughs> hey, are you really that pent up? C Cause I'm not that easy, you know. Sorry about that. Whoops, that raspberry. I said that with Miu, but she seemed oddly distant. I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Miu. Would you like to give Miu a present? the grabber. Can we see how she reacts to it? What? 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 How'd you know I wanted this? Oh my gosh, it is true. She worked with Kotoko. Oh, she given Kotoko ideas on the design along with Teru Teru and Kazuichi? Um. Don't tell me. You're, you're that into me. <laughs> well, I guess a prima virgin like you can't help but think about all day. Think about that all day long. I'm in a faint and fantastic mood today, too. Sure looks that way. What? Hey, hey, what by the grumpy face? <laughs> I know, you're all plugged up, huh? Not like you. Hey, I'm not letting this happen to Suichi. No. Suichi's not gonna lose his flower to you. That's what drove Kibo to the cult of a Tua. <laughs> then let me give you, give you something to get things moving. Haha. <laughs> Why is me, me in such a good mood? It's a little creepy. Hey. Come, Zuichi, to my research lab! Oh my gosh, I know where this is going! Completely ignoring my confusion, Mew head to her lab. Well then. Now, let's get started! Uh, started, start what? Uh, Clean the crap out of your ears, Puichi! What? Feast your eyes on the latest invention from the genius inventor, Mew Aruma! Mew showed me. Are these sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses, these are built-in erotic animations. Movies appear behind the lenses so you can watch dirty movies anywhere, anytime. <laughs> As a bonus, I include a video of me. Booyah! Here, use this too. I bet it'll get your blood moving. Uh, What's this? You know. It's a recording of my moans. Huh? I, I don't think we want to hear that, Mew. On your knee. I record a voice sample for you. You're welcome. <laughs> A version like you would never have the chance to hear this voice. <laughs> Is this grounds to file a sexual harassment complaint? Listen up. Oh my gosh, you try to file a sexual harassment complaint. Tango's gonna come after your ass. She's gonna be like, girls cannot sexually harass guys. You degenerate male. I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it. Just put it to good use, Kay. Everything in the box you gave me was clear for that purpose. Out of my way. Be happy, I made all this stuff for you. Huh? For me? Sure. Don't men need this kind of stuff? 
You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up. It's weird to be handed this stuff out of nowhere, whether I need it or not. I am a bit taken aback by how nice me was being, though. Thank you. Uh, um, thanks. <laughs> See, being honest isn't so bad now, is it? I like how Asya since it's you. Sure. I guess I can share my secret with you. Huh? Your secret. I don't really want to hear it. I'm just gonna fight the boy, but I'm just I'm cu I'm curious. All right, let's hear it. What, what really? You'll hear my secret? Why is she being shy? She brought it up. Booyah! All right, that's a great attitude. Now you're talking. <laughs> we'll work out the details later. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Got another Mew friendship. Three more events and we're good. Mew was clearly in a good mood as I returned to my room. What do I do with all these inventions anyway? Sad. This really is just sad. Anyways, I suppose it's nighttime. And you established your curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen to training. It's true. I should go see what Kaido has to say about this. I'm worried about him. No, I'm leaving! Okay, where is it? Where is it? Kokichi! I want to talk to Kokichi. I don't want to talk to Kaido. Where's Kaido's room? Kaido, Kaido, Kaido. Kaido, 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 Kaido. Ah, there it is. Hmm. I wonder if Kaido's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Why is I was about to ring the bell? The door to Kaido's room opened. Okay, now came. Maki! Okay! The SS! Yes, it's is Kamaki is sailing. Is sailing. Ah, Maki. Is she mad? Okay. Uh oh. Hey, bro. Per perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well, he told me he was going to skip today's training, too. I knew it. So, he still doesn't feel well? My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaido. Do what you need to do. Nah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The Zoom Council said being after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? And what are they going to do about it? Get Gata to beat us up? I well, told you. if you're feeling sick, that's one thing. But I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. Really, really, but... Nope. I don't want to skip it. So it'll be the two of us training today. Huh? What, really? What do you mean? You don't want to. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? <gasps> to die? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know that such a habit existed! Well, Anyways, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how much I can confront it. Okay. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. Yeah, Maki's really gro growing on me as a character. Uh, um, Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but it, this is really unlike you, Kaido. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you'd do whatever you wanted. My not when they have that hulking beast Ganta on their side, literally! Kaido is Kaido may be maybe a bit brash, but he's not reckless. He's not going to go charging Ganta. Suichi, I'm sorry, but I can't leave the training. But I can leave the training to you until I'm feeling better. Okay. Of course, Kaido. I nod firmly, then chased after Maki and head to the courtyard. Hey, Maki, about Kaido. You shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm not sure he's not. My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and an entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Maki. But her glare was aimed at me. It was right past me. Why is Angie and her tufts coming up? Oh my gosh, Tenko! Tenko, oh my gosh, she's probably going to think that Tsuichi's going to molest Maki. Uh, uh, such intense hostility! So this is your power! A normal person would have been passed out by such a glare! Huh? Tenko. I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away! Well... I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the 
enforce the curfew. Huh? What? That's right. That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal favor. If you're going to ask him to kill her to kill Suichi, at least have the DZ do so while he's not here. Uh, um, a favor from us. Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um, yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. That's exactly what a person who is brainwashed would say. What? Quickly, let's kidnap her! Take her! Maki, you... Maki, do some weird Vulcan grab and just knock her out. We'll take her hostage and reduce the student council numbers by one. Well, even the playing field. Deliver her to Kokichi's room. We're gonna need to use that. We're gonna need to use that since he apparently doesn't have a research lab yet. And we need a... And we can't have Gata's lab. Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in a Tua. No. I could never believe in Angie's God! Huh? Yeah. Yes, because the two is a degenerate male. What? I only believe in Akito! As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything! Akito values mental fortitude, and Akito moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks, Akito, my mental fortitude is way too mighty to succumb to Anshi's brainwashing. And... So you just pretended to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Hey! It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretend to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie's dangerous. The Zoom Council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. You know what, but once I agree with you, Tenko, we need to team up to take down the student council. You know, maybe sacrifice you. You'll be our, you'll be our frontline fire. You'll rebel against them, and when they're distracted trying to take you down, that's when Kokichi and all of his mightiness will lead our army and we'll take them down one by one. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. And she truly believes in Atua. She believes that she's under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Uh, I yes. won't deny that. I want her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wants someone to die at least once in their life. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that someone right now, Tenko. Listen up. But going through with this is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well, do you really realize who you're talking to? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I. I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. What? But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please. That's why I can't ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. How? How is Suichi able to stop Angie? Huh? Only us. Well, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Miyu, or Kyo. And Kaido's not feeling well, you know. You can ask Kokichi. Kokichi wants to start out at war with them. Having you join his ranks would be... Would really help. That's true. I see. You don't have many options. Uh, okay. Y yeah, that's true. Please! So please help me! You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual! I'm begging you! Tenko bowed as deep as she could. No. Well then, let's go! She's bowing to a guy! And now... And now we see flying pigs? Huh? Wait, what, you didn't even answer yet! Oh, Ugh, quick complaining! Uh, quick complaining! Do this favor for me, you degenerate! And now the moment's gone! Thank you, Tenko! You managed to kill any character development yet with just that one sentence. I mean, about you, and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not ch not used to asking others for help. By the way. So, what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. This is something I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey, then do something about it! I thought males were supposed to be decisive! And I thought females weren't supposed to commit murders, but then, but then again, we've seen that twice over. Sneak attack! And we got one track control of the school with a cult. So really, so really, Tango, this is not a very good day for the girls. I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's convince Angie together. She should be preparing for the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab. Mm -hmm. Right now we're gonna get some bendy in the ink machine thing. We're gonna see some ink version of Rantaro growing around together. I'm going to. And we'll answer that next time. Anyways, I really appreciate they stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye.